Can cannabis help struggling teens? And is magic mushroom coming to the rescue once again? This is Katie with Heel, keeping you up to date with the latest in cannabis news. Medical marijuana and DEA at odds? Biopharma Cultivation filed for a petition to the U.S. Court of Appeals stating that the DEA's extended licensing process takes far too long and is causing delays that could prevent patients from getting the medicine that they need. Since its establishment, the DEA has never been cannabis friendly, so it's no surprise that they would make things harder on the cannabis industry. Let's hope the court helps cannabis users get the justice and medicine they need. Cannabis Battling Psychosis? A study found that marijuana use drastically improved the symptom for those at risk of psychosis. The study specifically focused on teens and youths who are experiencing a variety of psychotic disorders over a two-year period of using marijuana. It helped to prevent any triggers of early onset symptoms and did not cause any negative side effects relating to the disorders. Should cannabis be made available to those under 18 who could benefit from its medicinal properties? Only time and research will tell. Will psilocybin once again prove its vital importance in the realm of mental health? Distress among late-stage cancer patients is hard to combat. The feelings of hopelessness take over and make it hard for patients to see any positive outcomes. Oncologists are urging that patients be allowed to take psilocybin to cope with their feelings and illness. As we have seen time and time again, psilocybin has been helping people to process harsh realities and traumas. To help patients who have cancer deal with the pain and better equip themselves emotionally would be a major win. Will psilocybin once again prove its vital importance in the realm of mental health? So go ahead and like this video and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest in cannabis news.